dos gardenias para ti Con ella quiero decir Te quiero, te adoro Mi vida Ponle toda tu atención Que serán tu corazón Y el mío Dos gardenias para ti que tendrán todo el calor de un beso De esos besos que te di y que jamás te encontrarán En el calor de otro querer Muévete mi gente, muévanse. This is the voice of la radio dominicana bringing you lo mejor de lo mejor de la bachata, el merengue, el reggaeton, and hip hop. Para que lo sepa, here we have the voices that ignite the flame, shake the snakey snake, and raise spirits from their graves. Listen up mi gente, listen to this night made history by those wanderers sisters, las mariposas whose wings are left broken by the side of a road. So we all now sing, hear our voices ring. Muévate mi gente, muévanse. One. No, in my hand. Let me see. It's trembling. Quick, the jar. Minerva, why? Let it go. I want it for my collection. Well, what are you gonna do with it? Nothing. Just look. You're gonna be like one of those old ladies that collect everything. Right? Right? The, the, the things you say. Well, well, if I were going to collect anything, it'd be shoes. For me, red shoes. Why you not there? What? I simply adore shoes. What's wrong with that? I'd like to have millions of them. I don't understand you. That's because you're so serious, Patria. Someone has to be. It's fluttering. It's dancing. See? Mm. We should have music. Wanna dance, Maria Teresa? Oh, see. Si. I'd like to dance all of the songs from all of the centuries. Oh, hey, I don't know who you take after, child. No one. I'm unique. And when I die, I'd be the last of my species. Niña, don't say such things. Patria, calm down. I'm perfectly calm. She's the one who... Apologize to older sister. Go on. But I didn't Go say... Go on. I'm sorry if I said anything that made you upset. You have to understand. Words just don't stay in the air when you say them. They have an effect. Where? Here and everywhere. Give me your hand. What? Let's dance. But there isn't any music. We don't need music to dance. Well, if we're going to dance, I'd like to dance a merengue. <laughs> Maria Teresa! Why not? Mama doesn't like that music. She says that's the kind of music of women who, you know, listen to. Well, Trujillo says that's everyone's music, that it belongs to all of us. <laughs> what does he know? Dede, he's the president of the country. He's a good man. Everyone says so. Well, I don't like the way he looks. When I see his picture in the paper, it sends a shiver down my spine. Why? I don't know. Strange. Maybe it's nothing. You know how it is. Sometimes a person has reactions that don't mean anything. Everything means something. Ay, Patria, it's nothing. Just things I feel sometimes. As if you had a vision? <laughs> Let's not make an inquisition about this. President Trujillo is there in his mansion. And we're here in our little garden. That's all. Maybe he'll buy me some expensive shoes one of these days. And a beautiful dress. Who? <laughs> President Trujillo. Mate, what's going on inside your head? Papa can buy you those things. I know, but... <sighs> Always with your head in the clouds. Come on, are we gonna dance or not? 
<laughs> well, if we're going to dance, I like the patria to dance too. Mate! Come on, levántate, mujer. You're going to make me crazy. Vamos, vamos a bailar. Apúrate. Okay. <laughs> As, As if, if the world, world will never come, come to an end. <laughs> Wait for me. Sometimes I can't remember what's real and what isn't. Did we always play like that? Or is it only what I imagine? Tonya Dede? Tonya Dede? Eh? Estoy aquí como un vieja singing to myself. Please, please come in. Such a beautiful garden. The flowers of Santo Domingo have a way of blooming no matter what happens. Would you like a cafecito? <laughs> no, thank you. I'm fine. It's good if you'd make time to see me. Oh, I just love people who write. Anything that has to do with writing stories and doing him a bit of good fascinates me. Yes, but that's if... Telling our story? If I'm gonna tell it? Look, you're here, right? You've come all this way from the United States. <laughs> but... And you know... Anything I can do. Thank you, Dona Dede. It's just being here in this garden, seeing your sister's museum. I just never thought. <laughs> Forgive me for. Uh, but for what? Sometimes emotions are all we have. We walk around with pure emotion. We walk around for toda la flor de piel. Especially here. Absolutely. The Dominican Republic is an island of consistent emotions, emotions and contradictions. How am I going to write everything? I mean, a little bit at a time, right? After all, to be able to tell a story is a privilege. How many people would love to be able to put down on paper everything that happened? Look at me. Every November, I speak about what happened to my sisters. It must be. No, never. It's important for me to keep their memory alive. Patria, Minerva, Maria Teresa, they're still here in the blood of this country. Years go by. Not everybody remembers what it was like when President Trujillo was in power. There's an entire generation that... You're Dominican, you say? Well... From the United States. I remember when my parents first sent me here to get to know my cousins and the rest of my family. I thought, everything is so slow here. Waiting in line at the airport, drive from the airport to the city. I kept saying, when are we gonna get there? My cousins would laugh and tell me, chill out, cuz. We'll get there soon enough. And they'd turn out the bachata and drink the right cola. I think, what am I even doing here? But then after a week, I didn't want to leave. I have the same feeling I had when I was still a little girl. What a slow country. I mean, it does take a while to get used to driving on roads, roads without signs. You know, Minerva thought about going to the United States once. Really? She had a crazy dream. Maybe I was the one with the crazy dream. Like I said, so much of what happened back then gets mixed up with what we said, what our friends wanted, what we wrote in our diaries. I'm here in Catholic school where mommy and papa have sent me. The butterflies dance in the air, like the ones back home in our garden. But here, we don't have as much space to fly. The rings get caught between the little bars of the windows. They collide against the church bells in the chapel and hide at the far end of the garden where the wildflowers grow. I feel them all around me. I want to dance with them. But the nuns won't let me. They say I have to be obedient and conscientious. Oh, those words make me crazy. Not because I'm not. I'm proud of being a good student and an honorable citizen. But if uh, it's such a beautiful day, why shouldn't I drink in the sun and the butterflies? I just met a very serious girl. Her name is Nina Peroso. The other girls laugh at her because she doesn't have any money. I think they treat her like that. It's not fair. One to the sea. When I'm a lawyer, I'll do anything I can to make sure that no one is treated like that. You know what Sanita says? That when President Trujillo was in the army, he did everything he could so that anyone that got in his way would disappear, assassinated under the cold light of the moon. Like something out of a novel, right? <laughs> At first, I didn't want to believe Sanita. Not because I doubted her, but because Trujillo was like a god. Sina says, Tu va ver, Minerva, you'll see. And it's true because 
Little by little, I do. When Edva could see it all, whenever she put her mind to something, there wasn't anything that could stop her. She was right. Dorila was the son of a bitch. I can say that now. Now that I'm viejita, I can say whatever I want. I used to tell Minerva, write what you want in your diary. But if one of these days someone discovers what you're up to, you're playing with fire, mujer. The other day, a little boy stopped by to ask me about my sisters. He wanted to know what it was like back in the 1960s. It made it seem like Asian times. Although, I suppose it for him it is. I think to myself, what do my sisters mean to him? Patriotic figures, brave woman on a commemorative stamp, people in old dresses in a history book. I don't think he... You know what he said to me? Why didn't they kill you too that day in November? He didn't... It was merely a question. Well, a rather mature one for a little boy to ask, but he asked it with complete innocence. I looked at him for a moment and said, look, mijo, I'm alive because someone had to tell our story. Oh, you want to do a de coco? I'm on a diet. American women are always on a diet. They're constantly starving themselves and for what? When are you going to enjoy your life? I, I don't know. You've come all this way from the United States and you wouldn't even have a little... I've been, I've been, maybe just one. Must be such a beautiful thing. What? Being a writer. Well, I just write the little things, short stories. <laughs> Why are you here then? Sorry? Look, I tell our story every day. Every day since the accident. But it wasn't- I know, but that's the word they use. The Maraval sisters suffered an accident. That was the story of the desgraciados and power wanted to tell. But soon, the real story came out and it had to be told. Eat your dulce de coco, mujer. Take in the sun. We'll sit here together and watch the butterflies as they dance among the trees. It's so beautiful here. Beautiful, but crazy. <laughs> That's what Minerva used to always say. Being here is a madness disguise and sanity. The dulce taste is amazing. <laughs> it's a secret recipe. Maria Teresa's secret recipe. Nineteen forty-five. Dear diary, a cup of coconut, a sprinkle of walnuts, and a large tablespoon of dulce de leche, and a sliver of rum. This is the recipe my flor gave me. Don't show it to anyone. It's our secret. I mean it. If Minerva sees it, she'll copy me. She loves to copy me. Like that dress, remember? The one I saw in the window? I saw it first, but Minerva by its girl with Virgilio Morales. I think she's in love with him. I saw them the other day. They were talking about I don't know what on the other side of the garden. They used big words, super smart ones. Minerva says that Leo helps her with her homework, but they almost kissed. I don't know what kind of homework that is. This is Hilda. She's weird. She always wears pants and a barrette. Hilda has secret meetings. She's plotting against President Trujillo. I'm scared. Minerva says it's important to write things in a diary so that our secrets will always be safe and guarded in a sacred place. Getting some sun? A little. It's so nice out. Good light for writing. I have nothing to write. Swear. I don't be a pest. Just asking, that's all. <laughs> what you sing? Just a song that came into my head. Who for? Are you going to start with that? Just asking, that's all. <laughs> Just because I was singing something doesn't mean it's for anyone. Besides, you're too young for those kinds of questions. Hey, I already had my first communion. I'm a grown-up. <laughs> when you're 15, we can talk. I know more than you think. About what? Secret meetings. Are you spying on me? I'm not the one going around here and there with Hilda. What's Hilda to you? She's going to get you in trouble. 
Mate, are you writing little things about Hilda in your diary? It's not my fault that Hilda's stupid uncle refuses to hang a picture of Trujillo on the wall. Uh, he has his reasons. His decision should be respected. We have a picture on, of Trujillo on the wall. You spent all that time with Hilda in those stupid meetings. And the guards come from my school and they- Did you tell them anything? Why would anyone ask me anything? Well, someone said something. Huh? They took her. Who? Hilda, the police took her away. Why? I'm scared, Mate. I'm so scared. You didn't do anything. I wish I could. I wish you'd all do something against- What do you mean? Trujillo. Is he doing something bad? I... Is he? To this country, Mate? Yes, yes, I think so. He's had Hilda taken away, hasn't he? And if the guards come around here, if the guards read anything in that diary of yours- I haven't written anything! If there is something about Hilda in that, the police will take me away, understand? They'll take all of us away! Liar! You think you can play with Trujillo's guards? Listen, they'll take me, Dede, Patria, Mama, Papa- Here! You told me I could write whatever I wanted to in my diary! About Hilda? I don't want them to take you away! I just don't want them to take you away. There, there, don't get upset. I was just writing little things, little thoughts. I don't want to get rid of my diary, it's my best friend. What do you mean, your best friend? Look, I didn't write anything bad. I swear. I know, I know. Look, we'll put your diary and my papers in a little box. And we'll bury it somewhere you and I know, okay? How do you know they'll be safe? I'll make sure. Don't worry. Dear Diary, I've always wanted to be a nun, but ever since I've met Pedrito Gonzalez, everything's changed. Every time I see him with his hair come back and his guayabera so pressed and clean, I think about the future, our future. The other night, Pedrito and I were walking on a moonless night when all of a sudden he knelt down, grabbed a fistful of soil in his hands and told me he loved me as much as he loved this country. If faith is blind, then so is love. I knew that night that Pedrito was my destiny. Our first son was born dead. I don't know how I'll go on. Pedrito is inconsolable. Days go by, words escape us. Pedrito buries the infant in a little box in the ground. His tears burn his fingers. I look at my husband and ask God to forgive me because I think he's punished me for leaving him. He's punished me for loving someone else instead. I want to put a medal of La Virgen de Altagracia inside the little coffin. The farmhands help me open it. It's crawling with hands. Close it, please! It's a quiet night in Santo Domingo, Ciudad Trujillo, as he spin a hit platter from 1948, hearing Las Voz Dominicana, the voice of the world. We remind you of a classic style that our great benefactor, El Jefe, President Trujillo, proclaims to the skies. If you want good meat, milk, salt, sugar, tobacco, you'll find it here in Ciudad Trujillo. If you want to find perfumes, neckties, latest cars, and glamorous stars, You'll find it here in Ciudad Trujillo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where Hollywood meets the Caribbean. Here all your forbidden desires will be granted by the man we call El Jefe, God in heaven, Trujillo on earth. This is Las Voz Dominicana, the voice of the world. Hot. You can say that again. More than usual. It's the humidity. Ugh, I keep adding the same numbers over and over again. Want me to help you today? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. What you riding this time? We let me read it. Mate, leave your sisters in peace. Just 
asking, that's all. I hope you two aren't gonna start fighting now. We aren't fighting, but she can act like a baby all the time. I'm not a baby. Precisely. <laughs> How about we go for a swim? With Virgilio Morales? What is that supposed to mean? Ever since you stopped by the house that day, you've been something else. <laughs> Well, you go out with Jaimito, and I don't say anything. That's different. Uh-huh. Dede likes Virgilio, Dede likes Stop Virgilio. Stop making things up. <laughs> I see you when Leo Morales comes by. You get all giggly and wiggly. Mate, what's gotten into you today? Leave your sisters in... Just saying, Patria. Just saying is how a fish get caught and dies. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of Dad's sayings? Por la boca muere el pez. <laughs> I don't know what you see in him. Who? Leo Morales. Ah, uh, he's nice. Isn't he a communist? He wants this country to move forward. There's nothing wrong with that. But a communist... When I met him, I'm asked what political ideas were. And now? Listen, the only reason why Leo Morales' ideas are considered suspect is because we have a government that limits our freedom of expression. Not so loud. If people go around with their heads down, this country will never put itself back together again. When you're a lawyer. Yes! When I'm a lawyer, I'll fight to change things. Just like Leo and many others do. But if he's a communist, doesn't that make him an enemy of the state? If Leo's an enemy of the state, I'm an enemy of the state. You have to be careful. Pray to all the saints in heaven that things don't get worse. Oh no, they'll get worse. We have to pray that Trujillo doesn't ruin this country completely. Because at this rate, all we can do is put ourselves in God's hands. Prayers alone won't solve things, Patria. We have to take action. What can we do? What? Mama says it's important to take care of the house. <laughs> it's nice to take care of the house. Mm -hmm. Take care of Jaimito. You're in love, aren't you? He's just a friend. That's all. Like Minerva and Leo. Mate! <laughs> he's proposed already. Well, he's... We've been... But I don't know. Hamito and you make a good couple. What do you know about such things? Has he kissed you? Did you kiss him back? How did he propose? I don't know I'm gonna, what I'm going to do yet, Mate. Ay, mujer, marry him. He loves you. He's been flirting with you since you were little kids. You're destined for each other. Like you're destined for Leo Morales. Leo and I have an affinity. That is all. We share the same ideals. A man and a woman can be friends. Friends that blush whenever they see each other? Mate, <laughs> don't be fresh. I only know things are getting more and more difficult for those that oppose for you. Jaimito says Leo might have to go into exile. He'll do what he has to do. Hasn't he asked you to run away with him? I wouldn't go anyways. <laughs> I don't understand. What, Dede? What? I don't understand. You're risking your life for him, and I go to meetings. I take part in so-called subversive activities for my country, not for Leo. My life doesn't revolve around a man. Are you saying... Dede, you're in love with Jaimito. You always have been. With me and Leo, it's different. Just because you don't want to admit it. Mate, cierra ese piquito. I'll yeah. do what I want, all right? Now that you nor anyone is going to tell me what I'm to do with my life. You know, I am sick of all this gossip and nonsense. If Leo has to go into exile, then that is what he'll do. If he has me to go with him, that's one thing. But I won't go, no. Minerva. No. <sighs> she gets so upset when I... She loves him, like you and Jaimito. That's different. Jaimito doesn't want anything to do with politics. What's happening in this country? I don't know. I get so scared sometimes. Did you see this? What now? Zaza Gabor had dinner with Ramphis, the Henanalismo's son. It says here that she wore shoes with diamond heels. Diamonds? Can you imagine? Let me see that. Can you imagine? Huh. Diamond heels. So that's what he spends our people's money on. Diamond heels for beauty queens and so-called aspiring socialites. Aren't they pretty? Disgusting, more like. Oh. Come on, Mate. Let's stop looking at the stars and help Mama with dinner. We're going to make that special plan, remember? We oh, see. Flan de naranjas. Joining us, Dede? Do you think Mama will buy me a dress like one in the magazine? We'll see. Help us in the kitchen, Dede? I have to finish eyeing this up for Papa. Okay. Come on, Mate. Okay. <laughs> Two, four, sixteen, forty, twenty-five, seventy.
Counting how many days left in here? Leo, what are you? I want to see Minerva. Is she around? She's inside, resting up a bit. She doesn't feel well. Is she all right? It's just something she ate. She'll get over it. Well, if would you, you like would... to down for a while? <laughs> I'll have that just a little to. while. Lemonade. You made it this afternoon. It was so hot. <laughs> We're in the Caribbean. How's that? We always talk about the heat as if it's something unexpected. Hi, <laughs> Leo. You're right. You're much smarter than all of us put together. You know, I just what I can. <laughs> I love this garden. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. you could stay here forever. Things are starting to get really bad. In what sense? In this country sense. Are you blind all of a sudden? No, no, not at all. I see things, hear what's going on, what people say behind closed doors. Why people are being sent to prison for any old thing. Then you understand, if I stay here much longer, they'll kill me. They wouldn't they'll... kill you. They'll kill me, did they? And don't even think twice about it either. It'd be a feather in their cap if they kill me off. One less revolutionary and sue down through heel. Maybe if you give it time. How long? Till we're all dead? I have to go. But what will you- I worked it out. Don't worry, just give this letter to me never. It explains everything. Things for eliminated. But, but Leo- Do me the favor, please. Give it to her as soon as you can. I can't stay here much longer. They got their eye on me. Hey, hey, don't get all- Everything will work itself out. You will see. We just have to work together. Where's that smile? Where's that sweet man and sister smile? Give her the letter. Promise? Yes. As soon as she wakes up. Don't cry, Mujer. Have faith. Without it, we're nothing. Take care, Dede. You too. Dear Minerva, go, go to, to the, the Colombian embassy. embassy. Tell them you are there to see the art exhibit. Stay. If you stay, they'll know you want to leave Santo Domingo. They'll help you. Love, Leo Morales. His words burned through the ink in that letter. I didn't know what to... People were being arrested in that part of the city precisely because authorities knew they were trying to use the embassy as a way out. I met Minerva. If only I'd known. You were in love. I met him. If was the man I love, I married if, him. Yes, but... Want to tell my story now? I think you know it's in my heart, like all Americans do. What does it have to do with... They came to our country, sat in his mansion, ate his food, drank his wine, troubled him on his yacht. All your great big movie stars want to be a part of Trujillo's entourage, but they didn't want to find out what was happening in our country. For them, and if it was a king, and everything was fine. Nobody said that. Maybe not your mother or your father, because they're from here. The people walking down those streets in New York, they thought such things. Look, you have to forgive me, Dona Dede, but my parents had to leave this country, and my parents' friends too. And people walking down the street, like you say, they weren't so swayed easily then. Not everyone in the States was clueless. What about the people that wanted to believe in the propaganda? What about them? What about the people that turned blind eye to the fact that people here were being put into prison, tortured, murdered, 
Even when he died, even when Trujillo died, they said he was a model strong man. They said he was so good at maintaining the country's equilibrium. So good at reducing the foreign debt. Hurrah for El Jefe! People say all sorts of things. And why just follow the lead? I don't. What do you do then? Every time I think about what my parents went through to come to the States, and every time I think about what my parents' friends went through, look, you have to forgive me, Dona Dede, but my parents had to leave this country, and my parents' friends too. And it just tears me up there. I cry every night when it looks like I was a little girl again, living with my parents in that tiny apartment. That's why I'm trying to understand what they're saying to each other when they spoke Spanish. Sometimes I just don't know how to go on with the responsibility that I feel as a writer, a woman, a citizen, to honor the memories of my people, my parents, this country, although it's not mine. I know, I'm well aware, every day, every day when I walk through the street, people judge me for the way I look or my accent when I speak Spanish. Because here, I'm the American. The American who doesn't have the right to anything, no matter how much I try to explain. Sorry, it's just, every time I talk about things, I remember more and more the new memory, the new thought. I look at you and point at me. You remind me of... Ta bien, If, if I write a book about all of this one day, I'd, I'd like to go over things. How's that? To write about the little things in life. The things that aren't so direct, the things at the end of the day, we remember the most. Cosas pequeñas de la vida. <laughs> sí. You know, every time I think of Leo Morales. I never loved him. He always said they were just friends. And you believed her? I was a girl, a silly girl. We were all silly girls. I don't know what I was thinking. It took me so long to wake up. But then we all had to. In 1960. That year, everything changed. Well, what do you think? It's a dress. Ay, Patria, don't be so boring. Do you like it or not? It's nice. Nice? Is that all you're gonna say? Bueno, está bien. It's sublime. Está bien. I can't wait to go to the party. What party? Trujillo's party. You will not be going to any such party. Ay, bebe. You know what mama says. You're too young. But I want to go. You can't go, mija. Ay, papa, por qué? Because you're too beautiful, that's why. The world has to wait a little bit longer to appreciate Maria Teresa's exquisite beauty. The world? I'd settle for Santo Domingo. Ay, papa, uh -huh. don't flatter her too much. And why not? Because then she's hard to believe you. I do believe him. My beauty is rare and wondrous. See what you started? Look, a little compliment never hurt anyone. You're all looking lovely tonight. Gracias, Gracias papa. papa. Y Minerva? Uh, she's around here somewhere. Well, make sure she gets ready. We can't be late. It's the last thing we need. Are you okay, Papa? Yes, yes, I'm fine. It's just that... Through Huey, well, invite us to the party. I'm sure it's a good sign. It has to be. Maybe. It's just that... We pray, right? Claro que si, Patria. We pray. Come on, give me a hug. Oh, and make sure Minerva gets ready. Don't worry, we'll all be ready on time. My beautiful girls. How beautiful. Ay, Mate, don't get stuck up. It's not becoming. I'll wait for you in the living room. I'm being papa. My beautiful girls. Gracias. He looks worried. You know how he gets? He doesn't like parties. Y menos uno de Trujillo. I still don't know why Trujillo invited Papa to this party. Because El Jefe wants to get his way with Minerva. And what El Jefe says goes, so we have to go. Bueno. We have to go, because, you know, they can't go together. Bueno, yeah. For protection? Exactly. Trujillo has a wandering hand, as they say. How many girlfriends has he had? Between the wives and the girlfriends, too many to count. Disgusting. Aww. But I put on my new dress and everything. Well, you're going to have to take it off because you're not going anywhere. This is so not fair! You guys get to go everywhere and do everything, and I have to wait and wait. Mate, you'll have your quinceanero soon enough. After that, you can go and- Stupid traditions! Mate, please. <laughs> After my quinceanera, you'll see. I'll have all the boys eating out of the palm of my hand. And then... And then what? 
Just because you're snooty and don't like boys. I, I like boys, just not the ones from around here, that's all. Just one who's some other wear? <laughs> what are you getting at? <laughs> After that, you'll see. I'm not just gonna wear one new dress, but hundreds of dresses from all the famous designers from all over the world. I'm going to be positively amazing. I got it, got it. She's crazy, that's clear. Hey, Bebe, she doesn't know what she wants. I wouldn't say that. She knows exactly what she wants. New shoes and new clothes. The way she goes on about things. I thought she'd be more grown up by now. I, Patria, we can't all be like you. <laughs> no, she worries me. She has absolutely no sense of responsibility. One day, one day she'll learn. You know, I wish I didn't have to go to this swell party. Don't we all? You know Papa can't refuse. I don't want to go. Shh. You don't want Papa to get into trouble. It's the last thing he needs. Papa wants to protect us. But what does he do? He hides things. He keeps secrets. Papa is just trying to- Papa has been hiding things. I. Leo's been writing to me. Leo Morales? Letters and letters and Papa uh, That's not possible. I found them. He had them stashed away. I found Virgilio's letters. Rummaging around Papa's things? Yes, and why not? I'm sure Papa was only trying to do the best for me. Papa is trying to protect you. Leo Morales is a- An enemy of the state. And if I communicate with him, I'm also an enemy. And if Trujillo finds out, he'll send me to prison? I'd rather go to prison. Minerva? What am I doing here? What can I accomplish here? Sinita and all of my other friends are in college already. They're making their own lives and I'm You'll not You'll go even... to law school soon enough. When? Leo wants to share his future with ba me and his life. Papa to... is just trying Papa to... wants to keep me cooped up here. Like daddy's little girl. Well, I'm not his little girl anymore. I'm not. Go on, Chale. We have to go to that party. It makes me sick. It's just a party. Oh, so an Hefe can fill me up? Minerva! It's what he does. Everybody knows that. We'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. You know, I'd like to have that son of a bitch in my hands. Strangle him slowly. Make him pay for all the women he's ruined and everything he's done in this country in the name You'll do nothing! Just dreaming! Patria. Dreaming of a different life. What life did you dream when your blood stained the fields of sugar? What life could you have led if you hadn't gone to that party? What dreams dare we dream when we're prisoners in our own country? What sighs can we relieve at a tyrannical sway of a tropical night? What smiles do we see in the sweet serenity of this garden where El Jefe basks in the company of his guests on this long autumn evening? It's Discovery Day, the day Columbus lost his ship's way and found us in the middle of the sea. You sure knows how to throw a party. Look at all the flowers. <laughs> like it can't be across the trees. Strange. What's that? So beautiful here, you wouldn't think anything was wrong with this country. Shh. Ooh, I love this song. And I thought you didn't want to come to the party. I, that has nothing to do with the song. Venga, Patria. No. Uh huh. Mm -mm. Venga, venga. Dale. He's headed this way. I can handle him. Be careful, Minerva. I got it. <clears throat> May I have the pleasure? And perhaps in the next. Now. Yes, hello, I'm worried. She'll be fine. How can you say that? He's not gonna do anything. He's a snake. Sierra is a piquito. He does whatever he pleases. You dance well. Women from Osibao are famous for being good dancers. 
and good lovers. Not every intense smell is the same. <laughs> you should set yourself up on La Capital. I'd like to take classes with you. I'm sure Henrissimo Trujillo can find someone else to teach him to dance. Please, please, just call me Rafael. Yes, sir. Rafael. You look very beautiful tonight, Miss Minerva. Shouldn't only be admired for her beauty. And what else should she be admired for, eh? Her thoughts on the world. You have thoughts on the world? <laughs> What do you fancy yourself, Una? A politician? I want to be a lawyer. You know, the law is a complicated career. I'm sure with enough dedication, complications can be overcome. Then I'll just shut down the university, eh? Too many adjectives. Like, Virgilio Morales, for instance. Do you know him? Uh, I heard he went to university. His family's from my neighborhood. Men like Morales want to destroy this country. Men like Morales have no sense of the future, Miss Mirabal. I barely know him. It's best that you don't. He's a bad influence. But, but what? Isn't it good to have an exchange of ideas? Isn't that why we live in a progressive country? Did your father Teach you how to dance, miss. Me goddess of wisdom, I'll place an owl on your shoulder, my goddess, and hold you up for the whole world to see. Sir, I, I love your perfume, Minerva. Your medal is I'll take off my clothes. We'll strip down to nothing Sir. so we can be more comfortable. <laughs> That's how I like my woman strong. Full of personality. I let's see how you defend yourself, Minerva. I have the to only thing that you have to do is be my goddess, dear one. A place an enchanted owl on your shoulder all night. <laughs> What did you think you were doing? He could have sent you to prison! I would rather be in prison! We'll have to apologize for everything. You realize that? You know fully well that is not allowed. There isn't a law that says But it is understood. If you confront El Jefe, you're risking death. You think of our poor father. You are not alone in this. My purse. My purse. Where's my purse? Didn't you have it? Of course, I mean it. Are you sure you even... Did, did, did I give it to you? I mean, of course I brought it. I must have left. I must have left it. All right. Well, tomorrow when we hand in our no, letter no, 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 of apology, you don't understand. One of Leo's letters was in my purse, and he'll find it. What? Here. I'm so. I'm sorry. I'm so. I'm so sorry. She wouldn't stop apologizing that night. It was a night of tears. Years and years go by of how I retrace it in my mind because the truth, my truth guides my actions. Now, then, the story I write, I write because it lives inside of me. The night after the party, Papa sends his apologies to El Jefe. But El Jefe wanted more. They sent guards to the house. They sent guards to the house. We screamed. They asked Papa to come with them. Days went by. Every day I tried to appeal Papa's case to whomever would listen, but I'd get the same answer every time. You know what you need to do to get your father out of jail, they said. Three weeks. They made me wait three weeks until finally and Hefe showed his face. And our lives were governed by a roll of a die. Siempre que te pregunto que you can't keep my father in jail forever. He's not in jail. Then where is he? He's... he's safe. In your hands! You know, there are laws in this country, Miss Mirabal. Laws that must exist or else our lives would be chaos. Please, 
sir, my father hasn't done anything wrong. There is no need to detain him. Yes, but Leo Morales, he's a dangerous man. I have told you, he doesn't know him. But you do. You know him. Like I've told you, like I have told everyone, I am not in communication with Leo Morales. So, the letter? He, he, he was obsessed with me. He wrote me a letter, I never answered it, I swear. Why? I... Why do you lie to me, Minerva, goddess of wisdom? I don't- You lied I... to me. You lied to me that night. Please. Sir, my father's not in good health. He could have a heart attack. I told you. I told you he's safe. Please. Rafael. You still want to be a lawyer, Minerva? More than anything. Funny how life is. What you want, what I want. Well, tell you what. Why don't we play a little game? I don't understand. Dice. And what's there to understand, Minerva? Just have a seat. Sit that pretty ass down. You talk like this to everyone? Dear, dear, dear little goddess of wisdom. There are so many games we could play. And if I win? If you win, you'll get your wish. Your father will be released, and you'll be sent to law school. And if you... I'll... I'll get my wish. Let him stare, let him distract himself. Everything is in my hands. Something that started between El Jefe and I, something that neither of us could ever stop. See, here, here we play to the death. Hey, a miracle. He was so weak, so ill, I barely recognized him. He couldn't speak, he didn't know where he was. A few weeks later, he died. People don't know what they have in their lives until it's gone. And then they cry. But a person can't forget everything, no matter how much they try. Five years after university, the past came back to Minerva as cold and harsh as a knife. Whenever I graduated from university. Yes, the first one in our family to get a degree. But what did El Jefe do? He denied her right to practice. He refused to grant her her license. Sleepless nights, dream after dream, exam after exam. And Meneva was back to where she started. And what did El Jefe do? He laughed and laughed. Perverse. Things happen for a reason. All those years of studying? I graduated. That's what counts. What good's a degree if you can't even do anything with it? Maybe in a few years. What? Maybe he'll grant her the license. <laughs> he'll never grant it. Why do you say that? Because he hates us. He hates all of us. Let's talk about something else. How could you... <laughs> you think he'll forget what happened? El Jefe never forgets a single thing, Mujer. Not a single thing. He's a freak. Mate. A perverse freak. Shh. I don't know, you could just sit there and be so calm as if nothing happened. She's thinking about the past. I'm not thinking about We got anything. all ready. Bebe. I'm... Put on our nicest dresses, planned a whole graduation party, and what a party too. Also, that monster could, all for nothing. Well, we need to put those things away. They're still there from yesterday. Let them rot. Don't say that, Nina. We'll throw a big, we'll throw a big graduation party when you graduate then, Mate. How about that? You know I'm not graduating yet. There's so much to do. Like what? There's so much to do. In the past. In the future. The present can go to hell. That's not what I... Down in flames. What are you talking about? 
She sits there accepting her punishment. What are you doing, writing the, a letter to make the days go by faster? A prayer to ask Papa for forgiveness? Oh, you are way out of line, way out. Really? What's gotten into you? You want to dredge up the past? The past is over. What about your career, though? A career. Yes, but I can't spend my whole life fighting for a career. Drowning in despair because despair doesn't get anything done. Doing things gets things done. And what you're owed? What I'm owed. What we are owed is a future where what happened to me at graduation today doesn't happen to anyone else ever again, understand? We have to muster our resolve. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, I get it. No, no, you don't. You never have. You think I'm not angry? You think I just go from one day to the next without... I mean, I more than anyone am furious about what happened. It was five years of my life. Five years pouring over this book and this research and that paper. I earned the degree. Nobody gave it to me. And if one day our struggle turns this country back around to some state of normalcy and Trujillo gets sent to some prison or gets shot as a rabid, like a rabid dog as he should be, I will get my degree. Don't worry. My efforts and sacrifice were not in vain. Now, I don't want to hear about or listen to or bicker about this anymore. Understand? We're sisters. Go on, yo. Family's all we have. Our family's our country. I wake up in the early morning and think about the butterflies that collided against the bars at school when I was a little girl. They were so beautiful. I wanted to be just like them. The dream of youth that will one day be real. A sweet tale for a sweet time, lover all over the world unite. A frantic kiss is coming your way, courtesy of a new sound. Hold on now, twist, shake me and shake me, hente. Hold on now, watch what wakes the anxiety of a night, destroyed by small cries. Hey, is that you? Do you know Mariposa? Where's my pretty butterfly tonight? Here, the butterflies spin games underground, doing what they can to admit El Jefe's roaring sound. One step two, they risk it all to hear the sweet chimes of freedom. This is a story about a day that will never end. This is a story about people that will never bend against the monstrous specter of tyranny. Here between, between a sliver of sand and an old sea, a humble box of oath carries it in dreams of action and peace. What are you doing? Uh, some man came by, asked me if I was the Mariposa's little sister. We have to get this box out of sight. Am I the Mariposa's little sister? How much did he tell you? He asked me if I was one of us. And what did you say? I didn't say anything. But he was handsome. And yes, I think I'd like to be one of us. Stop, this is serious. But he was handsome. I must have been Palomino that came by then. Palomino? Palomino, oh, I love his name. Ay, niña, it's not his real name. What's his real name? Shh. What is it? What's all of this? What does it mean to be a butterfly? It's a code name. We all have one. Well, I want one too. Why not? I want to help. Help what? Kill El Jefe. What do you know about any of this? I know what's going on. Oh, what? Some cute guy comes by and all of a sudden you want to be a part of a cause? It's not just of some cute guy. Patria, Dede, what are they doing with their lives? They're fine. Patria got married 16 years ago, and what? She has a family. And Dede lets Jaime run her life. Look. Palomino's handsome, but that's not the reason why I want to do something. I don't want to sit around and let people do things for me. I want to change this country. We are talking about guns. Explosives. This is not a game. I can handle it. You cannot let anyone know, understand? When we carry out an order, when we plan things. I can keep a secret. I'm your sister. Remember? Yeah. But if you get scared... I'm not afraid of anything. Mate the hero, eh? That's right. I since when? 
Since always, you just never noticed. Besides, if you get scared, we can be scared together, right? Help me with this. I, you know, you're right. <laughs> what? <laughs> Palomino is handsome. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. <laughs> My sisters laugh. Patria prays. I don't want to know what's going on, but I sense things. The country's changing. There are more and more gunshots heard in the streets, in the hills, every day. I asked Jaime, what do we do? He says, stay out of politics. I asked Jaime, what about Minerva and Mate? Leave them be. Save yourself. The windows rattle, and I try to hide. What are my sisters doing? I don't want to know. Mariposa. A voice whispers. I turn. There's nobody. Find what a place to hide. hide. I try to shield my eyes. God, give me strength. 1959. Batista flees Cuba. Fidel Castro takes over. We drink and celebrate to a new future of glorious revolution. We're going to live this enchanted dream forever. I place my hand over the sun. I fight with every breath. I pray that nothing will happen, that everyone by my side will stay safe from harm. The streets burn. The sky is gray. The ocean's quiet. I want to do everything I can to help the cause. Shouts are heard in the mountains. The sooner we get rid of those bastards in power, the better. The streets are full of murmurs. You don't know whom you can trust. Some priests say we have to fight. Others turn their parishioners into the police. I carry weapons in my backpack. Run through the streets, hide in secret rooms. They say soon there will be an uprising. uprising. More ferocious than the one in Cuba, you'll see. What are you doing, Mate? What are you doing, Minerva? How do I find my place in all of this? Always in the shadow, always obedient, always patria. When it's quiet, I get scared. When everything's like this calm, I feel as if I'm going to die. Dreams come to me, dreams of open coffins. I don't dream anymore. I'm dying of thirst. Fear dances with truth, a strange dance of steps and murmurs. Mate's backpack is always heavy now, always heavy. I don't ask her anything. I want my voice to count for something. I want my life to mean more than- Whatever you can do, Patria, it's our time. With Castro in power, we can finally mobilize the opposition and take down Trujillo once and for all. My son gives me a little kick. I feel him in my belly. What kind of life will he live? What kind of world will he live in? I try not to think of anything except now. Now, now we have to do something or else we will Won't not move ever again. ever again. And that's when I go to a house in the mountains. 14th of June. Through Hugh's goons attack some men. Hide the sun. Hide it in your hands. Windows shatter. Muevete, I scream. One explosion after another. Muevete, I cry. Guards with machetes. Guards with rifles. Some farm hands try to hide. Hide the sun. Hide it in your hands. And pray. when the farm hands rises, it's a boy. He starts to run. Pray, God, someone. Don't let them see me. The boy falls, a bullet in his back. I see the life drain from him while his blood stains the land. His mouth open in pain, forgive me, oh Lord, forgive me. How many boys will I have to see die in this war called no war? How many will I have to see fall into little boxes in the ground full of ants before I do something? How could a person sit in a chair and let things go on? On this day, I decide I will do whatever I can before God. On this day, as the sun's rays shiver upon a tired earth. June 14th, 1959. June 14th, 1959. The movement is born. And when my son enters the world, I baptize him Raul, after Raul Castro. This revolution is stronger than all of us. She stops for a moment, looking for something in the past, looking for something inside herself she forgot years ago. Muevete, mujer, muevete. 
What are you doing with that smile on your face? Who are you trying to please? For a moment I think I see Minerva, Mate, and Patria reflected in her eyes. What the butterfly say when you walked by? She hides her smile, raises her hand, as if she was saying goodbye, or perhaps welcoming those who walk upon an ocean threaded through her own blood. Come in through here, I made some lemonade. Always taking care of the house. It's my duty, you know perfectly well Jaime doesn't accept any revenue. Naturally, what Jaime says goes. He's my husband. He's not your master. Look, if you're gonna come here to argue, I'd rather you leave. I'm perfectly fine here, my life is in order. Yeah, but... But what? Dede, they, you have to understand, we haven't come here as your enemies. There are only a few days left. What for? Something big. What does that mean? Bye-bye, you know. El Jefe? We're gonna kill that son of a bitch. You mean to tell me that you're going to- Another group's assigned to the task while we take the fort at San Cedo. Like pirates? Are you crazy? You could help us. Me? No, no. You could finally be a part of things. No. Part no. of something bigger, I mean- I don't want okay. to get mixed up in anything. You wouldn't be mixed up in anything. No! Always hiding in the bushes. I don't hide anywhere. Oh, no? But when you're little, that's all you would do. Oh, you're so brave, but when shit hits the fan, you run and hide with your tail you between your legs. talking about that in my house. Just like Papa. Papa was a hero. But he bowed his head. Yes, sir. No, sir. Whatever you say, all right, Let's leave all this now. What Papa had was respect. Respect for authority? For authority? Yes, Gonyo, you drive me crazy. A tyrannical authority that ruins countries. One has to have respect. Don't scare the bees a little bite, right? Papa used to say Papa that. Did Papa did Papa did, Papa did, and you? Papa did everything he could for us. He laid down his life when he had no need and they hadn't taken him away that day. Oh, my fault. Yes, yes, your fault. You and your stupid little love letter. It was an accident. But who got screwed with? Papa and the rest of us? Before that, no, I, I, I have been looked at a kind of. That's what you want? Let's go, let's go, okay? He never bothered us. Go. You know, the only reason why he invited you to the party that night was to get his way with you. I didn't come here for this. You're such a revolutionary. Running around here with your backpacks, guns, and little assassination games. But I never see you in the line of fire. Always in the back. Better than you sitting here looking out the window. How could you say that? What are you doing, Dede? What are you doing while we are out there and we are risking you know our lives? I do what I can. I take care of your children, my children, and everything else. I do nothing but try to keep things together. Not everyone can go out and put themselves in harm's Every day, it gets worse and worse. I mean, you can't even walk in the streets without... I can't. I can't. You can't, what, risk being with us? It's not that! Fight with us, then! Be with us! We're stronger if we're together! We can finally get this country out of all this shit and this misery. Come on, go ahead. Please. If you change your mind, you know where to find us. Hollow silence fills her being. She turns on the radio. Tears stain her cheeks. An electric sees her night's companion. In its current, a voice is heard far away. A voice that sounds so familiar. A voice that makes her tremble. Listen, comrades, we will tell the imperialists, we will tell them that we, the masses, will no longer stand to be oppressed. Our islands, our countries, will no longer be milked by ghosts for the economic gain. The proletariat, the lumpen class, must rise, and in so doing, we will. We will inherit the riches of this beautiful earth. For it is ours, and has always been ours. Let this be clear, comrades. The revolution is here. The revolution is now. It was Leo Morales. Leo Morales? It's 
It's been such a long time since I heard his voice. I barely recognize him. He used such different words now. Let this be clear, comrades. We will not let the oppressors dictate on how we must live or how we should dream. Our lives are in our hands, comrades. The masses are not a machine, but rather one, one army. Let this be clear, comrades. The revolution is the future, our future. Leo Morales was on a pirate station, and I thought, why don't I do something? Why don't I dare? Mito said, if I go to a meeting, I'll leave you, and I thought, I have to go to a meeting. I have to see for myself. A week later, Trujillo's secret police burned down Patria's house, and Mata and Minerva were arrested. And I was left waiting. Dark. They keep us in the and then suddenly lights. There are 24 women. Their voices pierce us. Some like us. Others criminals. Like us. I don't want to think. Look out the window. I try to glean what's outside. Rain sometimes. Hot, muddy. Like the dance that day when. And then scream from some other. Another, another building. building. Well, there's a room known as La Cuarenta. Where they torture. Please, no. Will they take you today? Try not to think. How many questions? And if the guard. If the guard. The one that called La Tortuga once. We won't give. If La Tortuga wants. Fuck, fuck La Tortuga. Tortuga. <laughs> Don't cry. <laughs> and die. Pray. Prayers are not allowed. In a room with no sound, days and days. Silence. I call to God, nothing. I draw in the diary, the diary in my mind. From here to here, two steps. From here to here, a hole to shit in. From here to here, a wall. From here to here. I can't hear you. I'm right here, I'm right here. <laughs> Tell me a story about cute movie stars and their amazing smiles. Don't remember. Red shoes and vanidade. I don't remember. This is what? <laughs> Out the window. That was all I could do. Look out the window. Imagine another life, another time. While well, El Jefe held on fast, tightening the reins around the country more and more. This last year, poor Patria. The months Mate and Menelva were in jail, all she could do was pray and pray. She sent them little notes inside of packages of food and candy. She'd ask anyone for anything, both of us waiting and waiting until finally the Organization of American States and Inspectors to the prison, Mate and Menelva, were able to tell them what her and other women have gone through in La Cuarenta, that torture shit. You're right, all this. You will, right? I'll do what I can. No! No. Don, Don, Dede, I'll, I'll do my best. No. Writers are all we have. There are others. No. I used to not think that when I was younger. Now that I'm viejita, they're all we have. One day we'll all be dust, ashes. But there'll still be those books left in an old car trunk in some hidden library. 
and people will learn. They'll learn who we are. 31 years, 31 long years that Hitler was in power. What did I do? All that time? Tanya did that you were a good sister. So hot. They said it might rain. Who said? Like uh, everything's neighbor. sticking to me. Drink some tea. For what? For your stomach. To feel better. <laughs> Doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> of course it matters. You're here. You're both here. And what can we do? What can we do, Patria? We'll go to church tomorrow. The church in jail, our only destination. It's what they allow us. At least we can go somewhere. Think of all those other people who can't I even- I don't even know what's going on in the world. I might as well have stayed in prison. Don't say that. It's how I feel. Now, now, at least we've got each other. The valiant butterflies? All we did in what? Our husbands are in jail, and the country is the same as always. Not the same. No? How would you know? Are we allowed any news? Those men the other day were distributing leaflets. And all of them were arrested, like I said, the same as... I need the floor. Leave that now. We need to... And Trujillo's there, year after year after year, and he's just... Maybe one day? When we're dead? Maybe. Mate. I dream about it sometimes. I look down and see an open coffin filled with dresses, blouses, and shoes. A nightmare, that's all. And then I see your husband's inside the coffin. And I feel as if I'm already... We have to try to... A little more tea. I don't want any more. You need to eat, drink. I'm not hungry. You can't go on like this. You're going to get sick. So? What do you mean, so? We're family. We're sisters. We're here. You suffered long enough in that cursed jail to go on with any will or spirit. I Wait. won't let that happen. Later, later. I'll, I'll have a bit more, Dede. I'll make sure of it. Both of you there in that place day after day, and us out here without knowing anything, without being able to do almost anything. We did what we could. Wretched son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. <laughs> History will absolve us. What's that? Fidel Castro, a uh, line from one of his speeches. What do I care about him? Is he going to come here in this country and fix things? No. See, the only history that I see here is you getting back your fighting spirit and carrying on. To fight the big fight? We have to do something to keep going. We can't just let our whole worlds fall apart. They've already transferred our husbands to another jail even further away. Puerto Plata. If they go on like that, one day they'll send them God knows where. We should go. Ay, niña, you know how the roads get up there. You should stay here. I don't want to go anywhere. Please. We can't just sit on our hands. Why not? Why do we have to be the valiant butterflies after all? We've spent years fighting. We have spent years Running. Some flowers, some fawn. We'll take things one step at a time. At least we're together. And that's where it's weight in gold. Add some rum and coconut to the fawn. Oh my god, you're gonna make it with rum? Really? <laughs> Naturally. I'll help you then. Epa, that's the spirit. Oh yeah, but not with too much rum, because then it doesn't taste good. You're gonna get in the way of everything now. Like always. <laughs> Leave the kitchen to me. Now? Okay then. <laughs> Mujer, come on. I want to rest a bit. Well? Dos gardenias para ti. Con ella quiero. Sleeping? My beauty, what are you? I've come to see La Mariposa Famosa. See, you're almost as famous as I am. I've told you once, though, we are destined to be with each other. It's just a shame you didn't take advantage of my admiration for you. I never admired you, Henry. Rafael, please. I have nothing to say to you. I can make your life so much easier. All you have to do is apologize. I don't understand. Maybe you'll never understand. Maybe we'll always just be stars orbiting around each other forever. You know, I was expecting you'd be more. Beaten down? Skin and bone? Is that what you want? You misunderstand I'll me. I'll never let you see me like that. And how do I misunderstand you, Generalissimo? In what hour, in what minute 
of every day in jail, out of jail, in this prison disguised as a house have I misunderstood you. When you made me wait three weeks while my father was dying in prison, was that a misunderstanding? I have never misunderstood you, sir, ever. Where do you come from, Minerva, goddess of wisdom? From the sea. You know all too well goddesses rise up from the sea and devour human beings. You feel powerful, my goddess. Well, well, in time you'll see where all that power will be. November 25th, 1960. Patria, Minerva, Maria Teresa, and their dedicated chauffeur, Rufino, a simple man, ready to go to Puerto Plata to visit their husbands in jail. I had stayed with them the night before. Rain clouds along the horizon, and the jeep they were traveling in wasn't in good condition. I said, don't go. He said, you can come with us. But I said, no, the weather is too unpredictable. It's not a good day to go on a trip. I'll stay here, dying, worried, thinking of you. And he said, oh, Dede, always so melodramatic. I was about to cry. Minerva walks up to me. She kisses my forehead and says, we'll be back soon. Patria, Minerva, Maria Teresa, and Rufino. I never saw them again. Rain clouds on the horizon. They become a bit frightened, but they carry on. Maria Teresa fixes her hair. Patria adjusts her skirt. Minerva sees a little jar forgotten among the flowers, giving her the memory of when her and her sisters used to play freely in the garden. garden. Puerto Plata. Let's go to Puerto Plata. Let's go to Puerto Plata. Sound like they're little girls again. <laughs> lovely Puerto Plata. Lovely Puerto Plata. What am I gonna do with these girls? Nothing, ma'am. They're hopeless. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go to Puerto Plata. That's not how the song goes. I I wrote it. How would you know? <laughs> like a writer, eh? Yeah. I, it's so dark, Rufino. Mm. Rain, ma'am. That's why they said. Hurricane season. The rain will pass. We have to pray that the. I'll be careful on the road. I promise. We don't want what happened again to happen. We don't want what happened last time to happen again, Rufino. You and me both, ma'am. <laughs> that was quite a scare. Thank you, Rufino, mm -hmm. for everything. No one else wanted to take us. I put myself on the line because, well, because it isn't fair what you, what they. What they say last time. I. They said that they were going to be in this one specific prison for a few more months, and then they were going to transfer them somewhere else, even further away. All this nonsense, having prisoners here and there. And, and heaven knows what he does. Oh, do you really believe that? I have to, ma'am. What else could I do? Oh, yeah. Mm. Do you think we could stop in town for a bit? <laughs> Maria Hi, Teresa. Uh, come on, we should buy something. New shoes. We should look nicer when our husband sees us. Don't feel some hope, at least. Hey, I wouldn't mind a new briefcase. <laughs> I think you're finally becoming a lawyer. Um, I, I am a lawyer. Is there radio in the sheep? No, senora. I know news of the world. A veces mejor no saber nada, nada. No to know anything. Sleep better at night, you know? I sleep and sleep is all we do in this country. Bueno, so verdad. Lo que duerme mucho pierde en el tren. What's that? Something me used to say sometimes. Those who sleep too much miss their train and miss out on everything. What's that? What? Up ahead. I don't see anything. Look. Where? There. A truck. Rufino, keep going. Just keep going. And then a car blocked the road. Come on, get out. No, this way they said. No, towards the fields no. of cane. They walked us a bit late. I ran and shouted so much, dear God, please tell the Minerva family. They're going to kill us. There were five men. They beat us down. They tried to cut my brain. I tried to run, but they wouldn't let us. They led each of us to separate sides of the fields. The smell of rain and sugar cane drenched our senses. Where are you? Minerva, where are you? Bacchia, where are you? They clubbed me. 
me to death with one baton split, bleeding. They cut me open in the fields of Cain. That's my arm. And there, that's my leg. And there, among the fields, a little meadow. My mama gave it to me, so I'll be protected always. And there, it was left with the rest of my body. Why did they kill me? Trujillo's man didn't want anyone left alive to tell the story. I'm not a hero. What I did that day, anyone else would have done. They wanted to see their husbands. They missed them. I was the driver. That's all. And then silence. And four pine boxes were put in a car and buried into the earth. A necklace, a shoe, a red patent leather strap, an earring. That was all that was left. When your sisters, when my parents had heard that, when through heels, man, there was all this shouting in my house. My parents were so angry, I wanted to do something, stop them from being so... It was the kind of rage I didn't understand because, of course, it was the kind of rage of not being able to do something. I remembered... One day I'd... But how can I even... It's inside all of us. Everything. The whole world too. And memories too. And listening again. Writing them? And listening again. A song. A flower. A jar filled with butterflies. Red, purple, blue. What's that? Hmm? Over there. Patria, Minerva, Maria Teresa, they're here. They're always here. They're always alive in the garden. 